to Akaho, who hands off now. Motahashi. Penetration of Koye is good. Nice finish as well. Rochi's going to be forced to throw up an off balance shot. Couldn't get it done. Akaho looks inside. They mismatch. go to Okoye once more in a mismatch against Shyla Hill, and she makes them pay. They've coughed it up seven times here in this game. And outside, Scarbin, who spins into the paint, forced into a tough shot again. Good D there played by Marky Takata. It's got, they've now got three on the shot clock, though. Okoye needs to get busy quickly against Madgen, and it's a shot clock. It's Chinese Taipei, they had 42 points in the paint. Over. And a little over three minutes out from three-quarter time. Japan are on the attack again. Okoye knocks down another three. Here at the moment, it's stifled. The Opals, Kunik to Froling, knocked down by Okoye. This is better from the Australians. Shot clock rolls to five. Okoye just spins on right. Played in the rotation for the Australians. To the free throw line. Couldn't get to the free throw. Seconds to score. Presents Japan with the last chance. Okoye, straight on, triple, all the bottom of the net. Japan, and Japan lead the rebound count here, 23-21, and that's a credit to them. That's the highest scoring team in the tournament, averaging 98 a game. Miyazaki, five on the shot clock. Hands over, Okoye from deep. They continue. Australia produced one of the greatest ever comebacks. Down by 16 in the last quarter.